Bracken Cave is the largest single concentration of mammals on Earth. If you want to know what a little angel is, Mexican free-tailed bats, they can see in the dark, they can find their own baby out of 10 million babies up in a dome, if that ain't a miracle. Every, and every, it's like winning the lottery every night because mama comes home to you hanging up there on that ceiling in the pitch black. From March to October, bats are gonna eat tons of bugs. Those are primary agricultural pests in the area, so you got cotton ball moth or corn earworm moth. Because of that, farmers, one, don't have crop damage. Two, don't have to spray a lot of pesticides on their crops to kill those bugs. They're bad to come. Yeah. You sit there with your mouth hanging open, those bats eat the volume of two 747 jet airliners every night. So think of the ecology and how wonderful all he wants to do is live in the ground, be left alone, and eat our insect population for us. But in the early 2000s, a very large property that surrounded the property that Bat Conservation International owned was purchased by a large development company. So development was encroaching on all that and you had street lights that were gonna be within 100 yards of the cave and that would screw up the bats being able to navigate. And this was the, the last piece of property that was supposed to be developed. They were going to put 3,600 homes on 1,500 acres. Bat Conservation International and the Nature Conservancy recognized that this was really an existential threat to the long-term viability of Bracken Cave. Bats were going to be falling on people's patios, and the bats were going to lose. Finally, we were able to get traction with the landowner, with the city of San Antonio, and a partnership with Bat Conservation International to raise private dollars to help acquire what we call the Galo property, which is now divided between Bat Conservation International and the Nature Conservancy. We were, you know, working with our partner, Bat Conservation International, but you know, we we had to raise ten million dollars. And it took us a long time to do that. He said, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you with that bat cave. And I cried. <laughs> then we named the preserve after him and it's known as Frank Klein's Cibolo Bluffs Preserve. And so here's an opportunity to protect recharge zones into the Edwards Aquifer to ensure that the quality of water going into that was going to be forever protected. We're on the recharge zone of the Edwards Aquifer, so if we have pristine land on top, you'll have pristine water underneath, and that's that's the game plan, kids. If you don't have water, you got nothing. So we did a lot of work on the golden cheek warbler, which is the only bird that nests exclusively in Texas. It nests in the Texas hill country in the oak juniper woodlands. If you let things grow and you keep things in balance, if you build it, they will come. And uh, it's just amazing. The amount of development is expanding. The issue in the hill country is that our riparian systems are extremely vulnerable to degradation. 
We all need some place to live. Development is necessary, development is important, but at the same time, preserving something is also important. So it's been quite the journey and little angels like the Mexican free-tailed bats have been a big part of it. Go to Bracken Bat Cave and watch that miracle. You'll be a different person.